at Stoke Bruin. This is the flight. So we're going through seven locks and rising 17 metres. First boat's gone in. That was a wide beam and we're sharing a lock with another narrow boat. Lock two. Well, this is lock three, and it's uh, overflowing into this pound. So now we've got the water coming over now. This is just so much water in these pounds. behind this water overflowing in this lock was due to the two boats you can see at the top of the screen coming down and setting all the locks in their favour thus flooding every single pound. This is still lock two. It leaks like a sieve, so it's taken a while to empty it out to get us in. Um, look at the difference now, the water level's dropped. That's what we've done so far this morning. Heavy, heavy locks. Lots of water first thing. And now this is lock number four. Lock number one is chained up and this is the other lock that's chained up in this flight. You can understand why when you saw the water earlier on. Now coming into lock five. And just the other side there's a pub. Navigation pub is just the other side. Lock fourteen. Stoke Bruin. Museum and the lovely boat in. While Jonathan took on water at the water point here, I went in search of ice creams. shop there. This cute little boat called Progress. It's sweet.
working horses there. And the sign says, please don't feed them. Building to the right of the screen is the old blacksmith's forge. To the left of the forge is one of the unused precast concrete rings. British waterways were responsible for the major rebuilding of the tunnel in the 1980s. The concrete rings were used to line parts of the tunnel which they feared could collapse. It's 3,075 yards long. It's the third longest canal tunnel in the UK and 143 feet below ground level. Work began on the tunnel in 1793 but errors by the contractors left a wiggle in this tunnel and after three years of work it collapsed due to quicksand claiming the lives of 14 men. All work then had to be abandoned. In 1802 they tried again and on March the 25th, 1805, it was finally open. Originally, boats were legged through, and the legger's hut can still be seen at one of the entrances. <laughs> 